Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes one and two of Summertime Rendering. Okay, so I really, this is, okay, this is what I like to call, from what I've heard, this is the Disney Plus show that, you know, <laughs> first it was hidden behind Netflix, and now it's hidden behind Disney Plus. So, yeah, from what I have heard, that this is the show that is hidden behind Disney Plus, and that a lot of people, this was one of those really good shows but because disney plus didn't want to you know <coughs> handle them fucking rights and they took the damn rights just like with <laughs> bleach you know everybody's getting fucked over right now well international fans for bleach yeah i'm sorry but i don't really know anything about this show I i've seen like clips so yeah, I'm wondering if it's going to be good. I'm guessing it is from, like, what I people have said without spoiling things on to me. But, but yeah. Other than that, it's going to get started with episode one. And three, two, one, go. The first freaking episode is 25 minutes, DJ. Oh, my God. Oh, pretty. Where did she go? Oh, okay. Hey, what's she? I'm so confused. What? Who the fuck is Mio? I only know Mio Honda from Idolmaster. Oh, damn. God, his eyes are beautiful. Seven. Yeah, and I feel like this little tiny island about to be big because something about to go down. And I'm the blonde girl, yeah. Damn. July 22nd. Hmm? Are you Mio? Yeah. Oh, of course not. No one could be fine after losing someone. It makes you wonder why she said for you to protect me. I mean, is there something else going? There's got to be something else going on in this freaking town.
Of course, she's going to be important. Bitch got gloves on. God, she's so pretty. It just uh, it makes me wonder why she did what she did. But there's something else like beneath the surface that we we well we meaning me that I don't know about, of course. I'm hungry. Yeah. It's almost all, like getting closer to 11.30 and I haven't really eaten anything and I need to eat dinner so I can go to bed. Uh, because I gotta go to work tomorrow again and I don't want to go. Uh, I want to stay home. All right. Well, we're going to be seeing them flowers a lot in this show, my best one. Jesus. Yeah, but look how scary and traumatized she kind of looks. Damn. Yeah, but uh, I don't know about that one right there. Mm-mm.
What the fuck? No, no, that bra is dead. He did. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, but it's clearly murder. If she, if she has freaking marks on her neck, come on now. Mio? Okay, this must be Mio Mio, because, I mean, come on now. She, she looks normal. Or does she? But the other one. That other Mio, she outside killing the... <laughs> killing the cop. <laughs> I can't. Oh, honey. Um, Mio, especially with that last sentence, I don't like the way that went. No, boo boo. Uh, no, no, no. Bro, we probably going to see a murder just like Persona 4. You know, somebody just tangled up on a fucking TV antenna. <laughs> you know, just normal things. Huh? 
second, and then there's the cup. The only bro. <laughs> You know you're watching porn in the middle of it. What? What in the freaking ish is going on? We only 17? <laughs> the hell? I'm only 15 minutes in this damn show. What the fuck is going on? Possibly so. Yeah. Mm. This is gonna make me not trust anybody. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> what? That's a problem. Oh, we already seen Mio's doppelganger too? Mm -mm. Shadow sickness? Well, you know, hmm. It's time to get the fuck off this damn island. Uh-uh, time to go. Mm. Damn, so that means it's go- <laughs> That's what she meant by protect Mio. Ooh, she dying. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, fuck that. We crying all the time. dead meal oh shit I saw it <laughs> Is that that lady? Oh, damn. Call 911! Holy shit! Yo, ho, ho, oh my god, okay, damn, whoa, okay, so every time he dies, he has to start all over again, damn, so th this is, it, it's kind of a butterfly effect, it, it does give you a lot of feels towards, like, Until Dawn, um, I'm trying to think what else, <sighs> fucking um the dark okay well yeah this is also by the creators of until dawn the dark pictures anthology us if you do one thing yeah you could possibly end this series or the game which um, with only a certain amount of people living and such i'm also kind of getting and i have not seen this show in a very hot minute and it was one of my favorite shows when it aired at the time um on tv it was called harper's island Especially with the setting of, oh, we're going back to home to an island that the main character hasn't been to in a long, long time. Because the last time that they were there, something traumatic happened. Except the difference between this kid and the main character of Harper's Island, her mom died. And that's the biggest, that's the biggest reason why she left Harper's Island. And then so many years later... Um, she decides to go back for a wedding and then slowly but surely people one by one all get murdered at this island. So that's kind of also why I see the similarity between that and Harper's Island. If you've never seen Harper's Island, definitely 
go watch that shit. It, it's really, really good. But I, I'm now questioning a lot of things. This shadow, like, she just killed all three of them. Like, damn. And the fact that he is now starting over from day one, but he now, he has still his memories of what the heck happened. So, excuse me, um, he now knows that he can avoid all three of them getting killed again. Now, the shadow, I, I like I said, I would have assumed that the shadow would have killed the only police officer on the fucking island because it's like, damn. But now it's going to make me look at everybody and wonder, okay... Are you you or are you shadow you? Like, bruh, like I said, Harper I, Harper's Island feels, except because you're always sitting around wondering, like, A, who is the killer? And B, who's dying this week? So, yeah, I, I think that's really good. I mean, this gives you hella uh, murder mystery vibes, but with a really interesting twist. So, I, I'm not mad at it. I honestly need this in my life. Hello, we're in, like, fucking birthday month and halloween as month and i need horror as murder mystery things in my life right now so yes yes a win-win but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode two all right episode two and three two one go now It's the day she died. Damn, we're going to be hearing that for like, what, 20-something episode for this show? You can't say that to her like that. No, it's not. So he's he's kind of going to remember some of his stuff, but not as much. Mm-hmm. Repeating the day over again. Really? <laughs> no, but baby, it's not a nightmare, though. This is real life. Damn, you would think we would see this episode in her POV. Damn, get ready to see this opening several effing times, Deja. Like, oh, we're going to be in episode 10, July 22nd. 
And, uh, okay, yes, I'm saying that to be funny, but, it, of course, like, from what this is and what they're doing, of course, we're go we're always going to have to go back to the beginning because we're always going to learn something new. And I'm, I'm not mad of it. It's like season two of Hottie when we were in the Endless Eight. Except it's about to be the Endless 24 episode. <laughs> I'm seeing this every single time, but I feel like every week we get into this, we're going to learn more and more new things. So yeah. I'm ready for this wild ride of whatever the hell is going to happen in this episode. But I'm still, I'm alright. So number one, as of now, I'm once it hella hella suspicious about the cop the way he was like when neo left something about that wasn't right to me it makes me kind of think that he is kind of smitten towards Mio, but i could be wrong on that it's just you know how like when you're reading the room and you read someone's body language and ish maybe but who fucking knows like damn And here comes Mio. Mm -hmm. You're just repeating the day over again. Because it did. Somebody did that shit on purpose, of course. The fucking shadow. There's got to be an episode where it's going to be her POV. That lady took that flash. She had to. And then, of course, she's traumatized. Hey, you need a girl get your shit. Y'all need to talk to that family before they die tomorrow. That to you. You'll die.
shit. Once again, I ain't trusting everybody in this show. I'm just going to trust my fucking self. <laughs> Okay, we're doing something different, yeah. Mm hmm. And it had to be the shadow because, of course, it wants Mio dead. Don't don't stare at her. Look away. That's not Mio. Holy shit. Ah, makes sense now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And gonna look like him. So then that was the shadow yesterday as the what? The fuck. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Shane, if you don't shut the fuck up.
Woo, yeah, I be touching my neck too. Cause, woo. Yeah, as of right now, twice, my boy. Okay, stop her this time, please. Well, at least you fell in the water this time. Oh, shit. I was about to ask that too, but you know, hey. Okay, to avoid his death, good. Yeah, but if you survive today, how the fuck are you going to survive tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you can explain later. Smart. That too. But what if it's not there? Hell, it might not come since you just told the cop not to go there. I mean, damn. Hmm? Oh. Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm-mm. 
Don't open that. Yeah, that's definitely the shadow. So, now what? How do we avoid getting killed today? Girl, that's you, babe. But that's the shadow version of you. Uh, you know, definitely, I think so too, Mia. Do not end episode, I swear to God. God damn it, come on now. I can't wait till next week to watch the next two damn episodes for all three of these damn shows I watched tonight. Are you freaking kidding me? Thank God I'm watching the other stuff tomorrow. I'm binging that ish. But bruh, alright. Damn, we killing, killing up in this ish. You know what? Yeah, see, the gore, the blood, I need that my birthday month that's it you know i love that gore ish hello halloween bitch yes horror queen yes mm -hmm. damn this is good and this is only the second episode but okay it okay i have questions on the shadows though besides the purpose of killing why else are they here and i'm guessing the further we go into it the more i'll know about their lore because there's got to be something else on them that i'm guessing that I don't know yet As a, now I do want like I said I do want an episode on Mio's older sister's POV that that's kind of really a must have you can't like I cannot have this series on without that I mean I know this series just ended recently um but damn a good start interesting premise and everything but bro what what the fuck happened next like shit i need to know i need to know like now not not by next week not two weeks from now like right the fuck now drifting ashore and see that thing isn't gonna stop until mio's dead that's the thing. That's hence why her older sister is telling Shane always like protect Neo and how he's trying to because once again the butterfly effect and going back in time he's trying to stop certain things in order to like make her survive. But the biggest thing that makes me wonder is she going to truly survive by the end of this series? I'm a I'm half of me is a little yes and the other half is towards no. We don't know now. Homegirl who died in the first damn episode. I, I'm get, we're gonna call her a spy because it's very obvious that she is one. She's an agent of something. I'm guessing 
investigating more on the shadows, there is something else about her. She is very suspicious. But, like, yeah, as I said in the previous, it, it makes you wonder of every single person we're looking at and we're getting to know in every episode. It's like, okay, are you you or are you shadow you and such? And you can kind of, like, at first I felt like I wasn't going to be able to see the difference. But then, yeah, you kind of... Um, can, like if somebody looks at someone a little too long or they don't talk for a certain amount of period of time, then you're like, okay, you shadow you. You're not you, you right now. You about to kill me and such. So yeah, we looking at everybody a little sometimes right now, but then also at the same time, as I said, we wonder who the fuck dying this week. The police officer died in episode, hell, you know, those three died in episode one, police officer died in episode two, who the freak is that dying in episode three and four? Bruh, are, like, is Shane going to be the only character who has multiple deaths in every episode? Bruh, there's so many unanswered questions that I need to know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes one and two of Summertime Rendering. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.